Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Apologies, I've not been feeling well, so not been making videos so much uh, this month. I'll try to make it more. But uh, I do want to talk about like something which has really impressed me. And I'm sure if you are in programming, uh, you must have heard about this one, the Devon, which is called the first AI software engineer that has been really uh, making shockwaves throughout the IT industry, the tech industry, wherever you go, if you're in software engineering, I can guarantee you must have heard of this, right? This is the new, like completely AI software engineer, which is currently what Gen AI does or chat GPT, you just give it tasks and prompts, it's back and forth, right? It's like an exchange of prompts, but now it's able to fully carry out tasks. And I mean, very complex tasks, it's able to co completely create a program, debug, go on the internet, just like a regular programmer it does, right? and it's been pretty amazing i've looked at it it's incredible the amount of uh, complexity which this ai has and now like i said it's moving towards autonomous ai and i do want to talk about how this pertains to cyber security also because a lot of people are not aware of what implications this has on cyber security and they're thinking this is just has to do with software engineering nothing to do with me and that's really a very uh, incorrect attitude to have right now if you've been studying this Devon and seeing what it does, the comments are pretty funny. Like <laughs> if you've gone to this video, everybody's saying, okay, we are like software engineering is obsolete. I don't believe that honestly, but it is going to have a massive impact. And I've talked about this before. If you've seen my videos about autonomous AI, agent based uh, AI basically, right? So uh, instead of uh, like you just asking it and it's answering, you give it a task and then you back off and it starts doing its own stuff, right? It's gonna create its own things. And that is going to have a major, major impact on the industry and really shake up how we do things, how the industry works and cognition is like really, it is quite a shocking thing. And if you've seen the page, which they have, Devin, the first AI software engineer, right? And they say it's the first fully autonomous AI software engineer, right? And it's like, a, it doesn't get tired right equally ready to build i want you to think of you being a CISO or a, no sorry a cto or the head of it and reading this right devil's capability is complex engineering tasks common developer tools it has so what can it do now this is where you want to get into the interesting stuff it can learn how to use unfamiliar technology so after reading a blog post it runs control model to produce images with concealed images right if you didn't know but then it ran the blog post and it was able to learn new things it can build and deploy apps end to end, right? So it makes an interactive website which stimulates game of life. Oh, that's pretty incredible. Can autonomously find and uh, find and fix bugs in code bases. So it can do troubleshooting. And if you've ever done programming, I used to be a programmer like 20 years back. You know that troubleshooting, or oh, sorry, uh, yeah, debugging, that is where most of the work goes, right? All of these are videos. It can train and fine tune its own model. So that's almost like a, like a meme by now so it can actually train other ais so it's it, it's an ai but it can actually even train other ais and it can address bugs and features requests in open source repositories right it can even contribute to mature production repositories production repositories right and think of what this means like small small problems small small fixes if you are a, like a cto you might be thinking hey man why am i paying a software engineer why can i just give it to this guy for the small issues, you know, the low level issues and slowly ramp it up over time. And this is what really blew my mind. We even tried giving Devin real jobs on Upwork and it could do to the And I can understand how many people must have gotten upset by this, that this is literally AI taking away jobs because it's going on Upwork and other stuff and finding issues and fixing it, right? And it was evaluated on the software, like a, a benchmark, right? So that asked agents to resolve real world GitHub issues found in open source projects. And it correctly resolves 13.86% of the issues end to end, far exceeding the previous. And remember, you might be thinking, oh, 13.86%, that's all as this is right now, as of today, this is the worst this AI will ever be. It is only going to improve, okay? As it gets more smarter, as it gets more, it's going to get. So I want you to think this is 13.86%, far better than Claude and ChatGPT 4, 3.5, and all that. It is far above other AIs and this is the worst it will ever be. It is only going to improve. So they're going to publish a more detailed report and this is pretty cool. But yeah, th this was very hi Devon to start using Devon for engineering work. Please reach out here. So now you might be thinking, hey man, and I'm already 
like uh, news reports they've already what devin means to software companies right already news are going out what that means and uh, so uh, this guy started right people tend to overestimate the short term impact but underestimate the long term effects and this is where it is going to be i can guarantee you autonomous ai where ai starts doing tasks like you have these mini agents you will you might have thousands and thousands of these mini agents running around right and uh, doing stuff so competition is coming move quickly yeah so uh, this is a great article to read now talent can truly come from where leaders are no longer be able to know in an employee's career path right because now now you're going to give it to ai you can outsource jobs to ai ai is a tool not a feature 78 percent of leaders plan to implement ai all these things i want you to think about and what does this mean for us cyber security well let's take a look what i did was I made this small table and let me just zoom in a little bit so you see it better. I hope you can see it now. And this is, I literally mapped Devin's task to a cyber security task. So what did they say? Devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies. Think of it now an AI coming, which does cyber security tasks. Devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies for cyber security analysis. It reads a blog post and it then starts doing, if you're a, a, like an Elvin SOC engineer or a cyber security analyst or engineer, right? Devin can build and deploy apps end to end. Devin deploys and deploy, develops and deploys secure applications incorporating security best practices. So if you're doing like, I don't know, running secure code or doing like basic level of security testing, again, this might be bad news. Devin can find and autonomously fix bugs in code bases. Can autonomously identify and mitigate security vulnerabilities in software. Yeah. Uh, Devin can train and fine tune its own AI models. Uh, okay, this might not be the, uh, but yeah, Devin said someone can figure security monitoring tool. I think this will more, more be more pertinent to the previous one, but yeah, this would be actually, I'm going to replace it. Yeah, it's, it's going to, it's going to create more agents and security AI, right? Uh, Devin can address bugs and feature requests in open source repositories. Devin addresses security issues in open source projects, right? Devin can contribute to mature production repositories. Devin enhances the security of mature production system by fixing critical flaws, patching or security vulnerability if you're doing vulnerability scans and running game or if you're doing like a cloud security posture assessment basic stuff nothing fancy you're running a scan sending it right this ai might take over yeah okay <laughs> this is the one which worried me the most we, since i am a security consultant also we even tried give dev, giving devin real world jobs on upwork and it could do those two devin cyber security consulting on real world projects and believe me as like i keep saying this is the worst the ai will ever be so this is only going to improve over time, right? So I don't want you to get worried because uh, it's inevitable. There's no point in getting worried about it. But what you should do, and I've made videos on this before, you can check them on my channel, uh, start learning about AI security. And what what is going to happen if you're a CISO, you're not gonna just deploy all these crazy AI agents, right? You're gonna have a POC done and it's gonna take many years, but it will happen. Find out the security of these agents. You're gonna need people who are going to monitor this AI, AI agents because they will need production level access. They will need access to the environment. Who's going to monitor them, their level of access, just like you do access profile reviews of uh, users. You're going to do access profile reviews of AI agents, just like you do monitoring of users. You're going to do monitoring of AI agents. What happens if somebody is able to hack into these agents and make them do other stuff, right? Uh, so it's going to become its own niche. So start learning now. Even though this is very much in the start, do not get left behind and suddenly get shocked when an AI comes in and replace your level one SOC or level one security job or basic cyber security consulting job. So please, uh, I hope I, I, the intention is not to scare you, but just to show you that this is happening now. I mean, there's no, the AI uh, genie is out of the box, as they say, and it's only going to get more and more complicated over time. So start learning AI security. Please check out the uh, videos on my channel to get a running start and I've made multiple videos on those. Check them out and I hope like uh, wishing you a very successful AI security career as cyber security evolves. And I'm just waiting for the next AI to come along, which is going to be focused on cyber security because that is going to happen. Okay. I hope this was interesting and not too frightening for you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.